Hello YouTube, how y'all doing today? We're out here today with the red wasps, which just flew through the uh, camera there. Don't know if you noticed it. But we're taking a look at an assortment of off-grid EMP protection bags here. This one here is designed for a tablet. You can see that it's got double fold-over protection. And then it Velcros into place, so it completely seals the device from the environment. It gives extremely high EMP protection. I'll post the specifications for all this stuff a little later in the video. Cellular, Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, radio blocks all those signals, which you would expect. And we have the off-grid switch. And this gives EMP protection for your carryables, your wallet. It's like a, basically it's a wallet. And uh, it's got protection for... A mobile device, if you want to use it like this, the long way, you could put your mobile device in there, close this up, and use it for your phone. Or you could use it for RFD, RFID protection for cards. You could use it as a billfold, so this is pretty versatile. This has a lot of different uses. See that right there? It's nice, nice high quality. This is like a rubberized material, and this is a good heavy-duty uh, nylon. Feels like about a 600D nylon. But you can see we've got a lot of pouches and compartments in here. So this will keep all your credit cards and your ATM and your driver's license and all that from being scanned. So very handy. And like I said, if you use it the long way, you can put your mobile device in there. So versatile. And it seals up nice and thin. You see that on camera there? Nice thin. About the size of a normal wallet. And then we have this big guy. This is the off-grid 60 liter backpack slash duffel bag. Uh, this has moldable compartments as well. Zipper compartments for general uh, storage of items. So that's a nice big open pouch right there. And this is a water resistant shell. Then you have another compartment right here. It's labeled key fob. You can see this is all luminized. It's got the uh, EMP protection fabric inside. And that'll hold a bunch of credit cards. This would hold a mobile device. Then we have a big compartment right here where you could put some stuff. When you got your items in there, you're gonna double fold it over like that. And it Velcro shut, just like so. And this has its own, these two pockets right here have their own pouch and zipper. And then you have, of course, a shoulder strap and two uh, carrying straps, but you can also use these to put it on your back and use it like a uh, impromptu backpack. And then here is your main general compartment, which is gonna hold most of your stuff. And this also is Velcroed shut and you have full aluminized protection in here and you can fit, yeah a lot of stuff in there so you got excellent protection for that you know i would say that you could easily fit i mean you could fit a small power cell in there you could fit a whole bunch of you know fold up solar panels in there dozens of power banks you could fit I mean, you could fit a lot of device in here you could fit a full-size uh military type radio like a uh, singars radio or ham radio base station you know, a lot of devices. You could probably, fit, in this one compartment here, you could fit probably 30 walkie-talkies. 60 liters, you have an enormous amount of storage capability. And then you load this up with your electronics that you want to keep preserved and protected in case of an EMP event. Throw it in a closet or in a vehicle or, you know, your bunker or bury it underground, whatever it is that you choose to do with it. And, uh, you know, you're ready to go when everyone else is using smoke signals. You'll still be uh, watching videos on your laptop and uh, communicating with your friends like it's the modern world. So, very cool. I mean, it's well constructed. This too feels like about 600 nylon D. It's got a uh, kind of a vinyl waterproof bottom on it. And the whole thing is, you know, going to be water highly water resistant. And we also have a nice big pouch up here. 
So Off Grid uh, sent these out to the channel for me to do a review on for you. So we, uh, as you could see by how dirty this is, I've been putting this through the paces. I've been using it uh, in my vehicle. I've been actually taking it out of my quad a few times on the trail just to, you know, see how sturdy and tough it is. And it, it has shown absolutely no signs of wear. It's, I actually took this off and I just reattached it for the video here. <laughs> With a, oh, we've got our Mark V Combat Kitten. I believe he's EMP proof from the factory. Hello, Combat Kitten. But yeah, this is, it, I would say that this is a very good item. Uh, if you're going to use this to bury it or whatever, I would put it inside of a truly airtight, airtight watertight compartment. And you could bury this in a cache and leave it there for decades. Um, I previously reviewed the Alps Mountaineering uh, downpour bags. And I put this inside of one of the downpour bags. I'll do an inset to that right here. And if you use that combination, you would have like a true combination of items to keep your items truly waterproof. You know, you could use this in a gray man scenario. You know, you walk around downtown with this, it doesn't look all tactical and stuff. In a disaster event, like those folks got going on down there with Helene right now, if you had all your gear in this and you were walking around, you wouldn't look like a tactical Johnny. Just look like a guy who's carrying whatever he has left in life in a backpack, you know, emergency supplies and all that. And, God bless all those victims down there in Helene. The government's really not doing them well. The government's doing them dirty. And God bless all the volunteers and people down there risking their lives to get those people uh, the supplies that they need. So this is the off-grid duffel bag, 60 liter. I'll have links to all this in the description. The off-grid switch. That was the wallet. We have the off-grid tablet case really useful items definitely worth having certainly at least one item of this size would be worth having so you could put some walkie talkies and radios in there but the red wasps are really zooming me today guys so you could uh, put some walkie talkies and stuff like that you know a tablet you know a couple cell phone devices and all this is this is a good, pretty good size and at least have the basic, you know, a few power bricks and at least have the basic uh, communication necessities you would need after an EMP event, emergency radio, that sort of thing. So even something of this size is very, very useful. And then the, uh, the switch wallet, this really is for carrying on your person all the time. This is more for, I mean, it will work in a true grid, uh, in a true EMP event, but this is really for protection against identity theft. To keep those weasels out there from and hacksaws from stealing your personal information and, and identity. So very three very useful items, each with their own niche. Definitely worth having this sort of thing. I saw a statistic once that said every decade that goes by, there's like a six or an eight percent chance of a major Carrington event type disaster. Right. So eventually, ultimately, it's gonna happen. It's just a matter of when. And if you got this sort of thing. You get to live in the modern world instead of the 1860s. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remind me out.